hi guys welcome back to my new video and today in this video i will create a responsive website design using html and css so this is the web page design that i'm gonna create in this video and it looks very good if i take cursor over this button then its width is increasing and you can see an icon in this button and it is also looking very nice if i change the screen size of this web page you can see the web page is completely responsive for a smaller screen also in this small screen view, we get an icon to open and close this navigation menu. We will create this responsive website design using HTML and CSS step by step. So before starting this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel Easy Tutorials if you are new on my channel. Now let's start this video. Here I have this folder and in this folder I have one index.html file and one style.css file. I have another folder and in this folder i have some images and icons you can find all these images link in the video description now i will open my text editor which is brackets editor so this is the html file i have written basic html structures and this one is css file i have added margin padding and font family in the html file i have added this line to connect the html file with css file Next we will write code in the body tag. So in this body tag we will create one div with the class name container and in this one I will create another div with the class name navbar. In this navbar I will add one image and let's add one class name logo. Let me duplicate it and we will add the another icon which is for menu and class name menu icon. Now we have two icons here. Between these images we will add one tag nav where we will add the navigation links. Now I will open my HTML file with Google Chrome so that you can see one logo and one menu icon on this web page. Let's come back in the HTML file and here we will copy this class name container. Write it here in the CSS file. For this one we will add the CSS properties like width, mean height, then padding from the left side and right side. Box sizing will be border box and overflow hidden now you can see some space from the left side let's copy the class name navbar write it here in the css file for this one we will set the width 100% and display will be flex and align items center let's copy the class name logo for this logo we will add width it will be 50 pixel and cursor will be pointer then margin 30 pixel and 0 let's copy the class name for the menu icon write it here and here we will add width and cursor pointer so after adding this let's refresh the web page and now you can see a small logo and icon let's come back in the html file and in this snap we will add some links so here i am adding ul and li then anchor tag and here we will write the text so this is the first menu let's duplicate it and we will change the text so now we have four links here you can see this on the web page now just copy this snap write it here for this one write the flex one and text align right let's copy it again then write ul and li for this list i'll write list style none and display inline block and margin from the right side now it is coming in the right side next we have to add css for the anchor tag so just copy again write a here we will write text decoration none and we will change the color and font size so now this menu is looking good next we have to add hover effect on this menu so just copy again write hover and here we will change the color that's it now you can see if i take cursor over this menu you can see the color is changing after creating this navigation bar, we will add some content on this web page. So just come back and after this nav bar, here we will create another div with the class name row. And in this row, let's create one more div with the class name call1. Let's duplicate it and it will be call2. So we have two columns. Now in the first one, we will add one title in h2. So this is the title. Let me add one more title in h3. So this is the h3 text. Let me add one more text in p tag. So this is the small text. After that, I'll write price in h4 tag. 
so after adding all these content reload the web page and you can see all this text on the web page now if you have to design it so just copy the class name row write it here in the css file and for this row we will set display flex and justify content space between align items will be center and margin 100 pixel 0 let's copy the class name call one write it here and here we will write flex basis 40 percent and position relative then margin from the left side now it is coming here now let's copy again then write h2 for the text and for this h2 we will write font size we will increase the font size let's duplicate it and it will be h3 and here we will write 30 pixel then color this color code and font weight then margin let's copy it again write it here and here we will write p for the text here we will change the font size and color and font weight will be 100 now you can see it is looking like this next we have to write css for h4 so just copy again then write h4 and here we will write margin 30 pixel and 0 then font size 20 pixel now let's come back in the html file here we will add one button so i'm adding button type button and by now it is text in this button will add one icon also so i'm adding img then src file path which is arrow.png after adding this button let's refresh the web page on this web page you can see this button with an icon now just copy this button write it here in the css file here we will write width 140 pixel and border 0 and padding 12 pixel and 10 pixel outline will be none and color white then background linear gradient and here we will write to write and we will add two color code so this is the color code first one and this is the second one after adding this you can see we have the gradient color in the background next we will add border radius and cursor pointer now it is looking like this let's copy this button then write img and for this one we will set the width 30 pixel and now you can see it is looking like this here we will add display none so the icon will be hidden and when we will hover this button then the icon will be visible you can see we have no space here let me check so here we have one mistake instead of this p we will write h4 so now we have some space here before this button so let's come back in the css file just copy this button then write hover and img here we will write display block so it will be visible let's copy it again then write width 160 pixel display flex and align items center justify content will be space between here we will write transition width 0.5 seconds now you can see if i take cursor over this button its width is increasing and it will display one icon in this button after that we will add one vertical line in the left side so just come back copy this class name call one then write after here we will add content empty width 10 pixel and height 57 percent background will be linear gradient color let me copy this one here we will change the color code after that we will write position absolute left minus 40 pixel and top 8 pixel now you can see one vertical line in the left side after that we will add some content in the right column which is column 2 so let's come back in the html file and here we will add one image so i am adding img tag then file path and one class name so let me add the class name controller let's copy this one right now you can see this controller is very big so just come back in the css file write this class name call to then 
here we will add position relative flex base is 60 percent and display will be flex align item center copy this class name controller write it here before that i will add the class name call to for this one we will set the width it will be 90 percent now you can see small controller image here let's come back and here in the html file we will create one div with the class name color box let's copy this class name write it here in the css file and for this one we will write position absolute and write zero and top zero then background it will be linear gradient color you can keep the same color then border radius 20 pixel 0 0 and 20 pixel height 100 percent and width 80 percent z index minus one now you can see one colored in the background now we have to move this color box in the right side for that here we will add transform translate x 150 pixel so now it will be on the right side that's it let's come back and after this div we will add one more div with the class name add btn and here we will add one img and the file path after that we will write one small text for that i am using p tag and a small and the text is add to cart after adding this let's refresh the web page and you can see this big icon and one small text let me copy the class name add btn write it here in the css file then write img for this image we will set the width 35 pixel and margin from the bottom now you can see image size is good let's come back and copy this class name again and here we will write text align center and color white cursor will be pointer now it looks good after that i'll add some social media icons at the bottom so after closing this row div we will create one another div with the class name social links here we will add social media icons so i'm using img tag then source then file path duplicate it and change the file name so we have three icons let's copy this class name write it here in the css file and here we will add img height it will be 13 pixel and margin 20 pixel and cursor pointer now you can see these icons in the left side so we have to move it in the center so just copy again then write text align center that's it now you can see these icons in the center next we will change the screen size so that you can see this page is not responsive right now so we have to add media queries to make this web page responsive so come back in the css file here we will add media only screen and max width 700 pixel now whatever css properties we will write in this media query that will be applicable for device whose width is less than 700 pixel so first we have to write the css for this navigation menu so come back in the css file here you can see we have this nav and ul so let me add this one nav ul width 100 percent and background it will be linear gradient let me copy from here that's it then write position absolute and top it will be 75 pixel and write 0 z index 2 after adding this you can see it is coming like this let's come back and just copy again then write li it will be display block and we will add some margin from the top and margin from bottom let's copy it again then write a and we will change the color now it is coming vertically right now you can see this icon is visible on full screen also and a smaller screen also so we have to hide this icon on the larger screen for that we will come back in the css file and here we have written menu icon so let's add display none now just copy this menu icon come to the media query and in this media query we will add this class name and write display block that's it now you can see this icon is hidden in full screen and it is visible in a small screen so next we have to add click event on this icon so just come back in the html file 
and let me find where we have written the icon so here it is here we will add on click on click equals toggle menu so when we will click on this icon it will call the function toggle menu so we will create this function on the button click we have to hide and display this list which is in ul so in this ul we will add one id so the id i am adding menu list let's copy this one now come to the bottom before this closing body tag here we will write a script open and closing tag then write where menu list equals document dot get element by id and the id which is menu list after that here we will add menu list dot style dot max height equals zero pixel so it will add zero pixel maximum height next we will create the function with the name toggle menu and in this function first we will check if this one is equal to zero for that here we will add double equals so it will compare after that we will write menu height dot style dot max height equals 130 pixel and here we will write else condition in the else condition we will write the same thing and it will be zero pixel that's it so now you can see if i click here it will display and hide this menu but right now it is not very smooth for that copy this id menu list and come to the css file in the media query here we will add menu list and overflow hidden and transition 0.5 second that's it after adding this refresh the web page and now if i click on this icon it will close and open this navigation menu very smoothly and right now you can see it is coming like this in the full screen and a small screen it is coming like a toggle menu next we will write the css properties for the other content on the web page for that come back to the css file and in this css file you can see we have added this row and here we have margin 100 pixel and 0 so we will decrease this margin so just copy this row and add it in the media query here we will add flex direction column reverse and margin 50 pixel 0 after adding this you can see this controller icon is also visible and we have less space from top and bottom after that here we will add call to and flex basis it will be 100% and margin from the bottom now you can see some space from the bottom of this controller let's copy it again then write controller and we will change the width so here we will add width 77% now you can see different width now you can see we have this color box so write it here in the media query and here we will add transform translate x 75 pixel after adding this it is looking good next we will write the css properties for the other column so just come back in the css file and here we will write call 1 and flex basis will be 100% again copy this then write h2 and we will decrease the font size so it will be 35 pixel now it is looking good let's decrease the font size for the other text also so just come back and duplicate this one and here we will change it to h3 and it will be 15 pixel now it is good so now all the contents are looking good on this a small screen device also and this button hover is also working and if i open this web page in full screen here also it is looking very good so this is how we have created this responsive web design using html and css and toggle menu using a small javascript i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section and please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching this video